In China's democratic system, there are two key groups of people who hold sway in the political sphere: deputies to the National People's Congress and members of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. Through motions and proposals, they have made visible progress to Chinese society. One such motion, submitted during the 2016 two sessions by Huang Xihua, a female NPC deputy, pointed out that there were no baby care rooms in many public places in China. All the rooms were poorly equipped. She suggested that baby care rooms should be included as standard facilities in public venues. This recommendation soon became a trending topic on Chinese social media. These issues brought to the fore when, on December 27, 2015, a picture of a mother breastfeeding her baby on the subway generated heated discussion about the growing need for baby care rooms. On July 15, 2016, the National Health and Family Planning Commission replied to the proposal and made it clear that baby care rooms should not be independent buildings, but part of the architectural design. Mainly set up in public buildings such as shopping malls, hospitals, stations, etc. The commission also reviewed that the Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development was compiling a regulation to further unify and clarify the requirement of the construction of baby care rooms in civil buildings. In November 2016, the commission. Together with the National Development and Reform Commission and other departments, issued a guideline to advise relevant departments at the provincial levels of government should give necessary financial support to the construction and operation of maternal and child health facilities, and mobilize social resources to invest extensively in this course. In further support of Wang's proposal, the central government issued a plan in 2017 requiring baby care rooms or baby care stations in large public places, tourist attractions, etc., to ensure mothers' and babies' rights and interests. At the two sessions in 2018, deputies continued to submit new motions on setting up more baby care rooms in public places. In May 2018, China started enforcing the newly released standards for the construction of maternal health service institutes. Requirements included that construction of maternal and child health service institutions should include breastfeeding rooms. As of June 2018, almost all provinces across the country had issued guidelines or work plans for accelerating the construction of maternal and child health facilities. On September 9, 2020, the National Health Commission stated, as of the end of 2018, China had completed the target of equipping more than 80% of public places that meet the requirements, with maternal and child health facilities setting up over 24,000 baby care rooms in public places. Evidence of this target can be seen across the country. In Guangzhou, in Guangdong Province. More than 900 baby care rooms have been built in public venues. In Shenzhen, in Guangdong Province, a total of 1,124 baby care rooms have been set up, covering almost all public venues in the city. In Shanghai, 1,378 baby care rooms have been built in public venues, and 4,298 enterprises and public institutions have set up baby care rooms for their female staff. Beijing had installed baby care facilities in accessible restrooms in 264 subway stations, and built baby care rooms in seven stations as of July 2021. More than 6,400 baby care rooms are set up across the city. Rome was not built in a day, and this process is no different. So, at this year's two sessions, we again see some deputies calling for more efforts from both the government and society. That is the way China's democracy works.